fucking punched in the face. I don't want. I want a fucking refund. I'm what? bleeding now. I've never been fucking punched in the face. So we were just trying to do a slow motion Baywatch scene. Amigos, welcome to a new vlog. Oh no. <laughs> we got some pesos. We are going to Mexico. Mexico. <laughs> if you haven't been following, Tal and I have been traveling all around the United States and today we are in San Diego crossing into Tijuana and we're here so with the beautiful Pema Travels. Hi. And we are going to go explore. Yeah, we're going to Tijuana. A lot of people have actually warned me about this place because typically they're afraid of it. I've heard a lot of people say this place is dangerous, but I think they're wrong. And I want to go have a good time and we're going to bring you with us. So let's go have some fun. It's the Tijuana time. Oh, Mexico. 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 Woo, 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 woo. We're going to Mexico. We're going to Mexico. We're going to Mexico. Mexico. That was so quick. We just made it into Mexico within maybe three minutes. There's no line. Longer to change our money. What? Yeah. <laughs> Wait. What was the? What was the process there? What, did I miss something? Like were we there supposed was no to? no check. No one even looked at us. All no right. one checked their passports. We're Guys, we're in Mexico. Do you wanna? So that was very easy coming in. Didn't have to wait at all. But people told us. The way back, I don't know if you can see, but all the cars online right here, yeah, apparently it takes much longer, sometimes up to four or five hours to get back into the United States. But Mexico just let us in with no problem, so here we are! <laughs> Hola, Hola, yo soy está? Talito. Es abierto porque llegan Hola, tus perito. exitazos del momento. It's like trash, feces, and laundry detergent all mixed in one. I smell corn. The word that I smell corn? So as soon as we came into Tijuana, we're following our GPS to a place called Playa de Tijuana, right? Si. Sí. The GPS has brought us to some pretty Question. sketchy, <laughs> questionable areas. We're pretty much in the slum. Yeah, I, mean. I, I think we're completely in the slums right now. Yeah. We're trying to relocate ourselves, but it is kind of interesting walking, I mean driving through here, because what your perceptions of poor areas may be, I feel like I immediately think it's dangerous, but I don't necessarily I think yeah, just because it's just because they're poor doesn't mean it's a dangerous area. Yeah. It's actually it's it's 1:45 in the afternoon right now. All the kids are getting out of school. You can tell that it's a little bit of a, like a, a lower income area for for the city itself, but I don't I don't feel in any sort of danger. Yeah. Like it just feels like this is just a place where people live, and we just happen to have accidentally gotten in here. <laughs> <laughs> we rerouted to to the actual beach, so we're going there now. Okay, so we have arrived at the beach here in Tijuana and we're gonna be staying at an Airbnb tonight but it's not quite ready yet so we're on a mission to find the best tacos in Tijuana. So one of our favorite things to do when we get to a town and we're looking for food is to just stop on the side of the road and ask locals where they recommend to go. We were, we were going to Tacos El Dorado, right there. Is that pretty good? Oh, yeah. that's birria. That's fire. Is it good? Yeah. Oh, hell yeah. Okay. Yeah, that's good. So this is a place right here, but apparently there's no more meat. No mas carne. What? The last of it is right there. Someone's eating it right now. We just missed it. All right, guys, we found a little taco place right down the road, and we each got two tacos. Gracias. <laughs> My first Tijuana taco. I think we're just gonna be eating tacos the whole time we're here. These are so good, and they're pretty cheap too. At 25 pesos for a taco. Yum, scrum, diddly, Ooh. Guys, in Mexico, a lot of times they take corn and they'll put like mayonnaise and chili powder and stuff like that on top of the corn in a cup. And yeah, it's like a crazy time because they put like a bunch of stuff inside of the cup. Guys, look at this little corn cup. I don't know the actual name of it, but I, 
I mean, I know corn is called mice, mice in Spanish, I think. We got like some butter, some mayonnaise, corn, I think like hot spicy sauce, tapatio maybe. It's gonna be good. What'd you get, Pema? That's some Mexican candies. Do you know what that is? Um, I think I do. I know it by like taste, you know? Yeah? Yeah. Tequila? Tequila. What is that? Oh, what's Peanuts? that? Look, it's not the thing. Oh, so hot. Oh, it's a corn. Want some? Yes, it's but it's really so good. hot. So many candies. It's so hot. It's so hot and spicy and mayonnaise-y. But wow, is it delicious. And for a dollar, it's just so much fun to be able to just pick that up on the side of the road. This is and I, I love corn so much, so this is great. Is that tamarindo? Mm-hmm. Mm. Ooh, my turn to try this corn. Mm. What do you think, Steven? Oh! It's hot, right? It's a little hot, but it's so tasty. Oh, yeah. Boom, not only do we have corn, but we got corn on the beach. First impressions of this beach, it actually looks pretty nice. Yeah, first international yeah. travels, look at this. This bro trip has turned into an international bro Yeah, trip. this was supposed to be just a USA road trip, but now we're in Mexico, yeah. so international bro trip. So cool. And we're here on the and beach now. a hoe trip. <laughs> first thing you gotta do when you get on the beach, take your shoes off, take your shoes off, baby. They sell. Oh, they got fresh mangoes on the beach right here. Wow. Wow. So we've been on the beach for nearly two minutes, and Pema's already got her face submerged in the sand. <laughs> I'm exfoliating. Pema just spent the last 20 minutes making a sculpture of me. What do you think? Does, does this look like me? Mm -hmm. Fun times at the beach. Now we're gonna go to our Airbnb. We arrived at our beautiful little Airbnb villa. Casa. And tonight we are celebrating. Casa Tequila. What are we celebrating? Our friendship. Our friendship. Our yeah. newly made friendships. Newly minted. Corn. And corn. And, I like and corn. corn. By the way, this is tequila. If you never heard of that, it's an alcoholic beverage that's usually found in Mexico. And here we are. Tal has never ever put tequila in his mouth face before. Mouth hole. So. Is your tripod drunk? I think my tripod <laughs> just slowly just <laughs> fell over. Tal's never had this before, so we are gonna celebrate his first baptism. <laughs> just pour all over. I'm Jewish, right? We're gonna baptize Tal with some tequila. Tell me your feelings, Tal. How are you feeling about drinking tequila for the first time? Because you've never drank it before, and you've never had it before. So this is your first time drinking it. So what do you feel like it's gonna be like? How do you think you're gonna handle it? Tell me all your feelings in three, two, one, zero, negative one, negative two, negative three, negative four, negative five, negative six. I have had it. Okay, oh, you have it here. Let's go. Typically, how you take tequila shots is you pour a little salt on this little. What do you call this part of your hand? Weenus. No. no, it's not. This is a, That's a vagina. vagina. Oh, this is your weenus, and this is your vagina. So, <laughs> we have camera one, we have camera yeah, dose. Two. Camera two, Ready? camera one. one. Camera, camera two. two, camera one. Okay, we're sticking on camera one, camera two, two? Here, then we're gonna stick on camera one. We're staying on camera one, two for two. 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 Close your eyes, <laughs> inhale twice, and look at camera one. First shot of tequila, ladies Ever in the world. Ready? 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 Three, dos, uno, salud! Oh yeah. That's an interesting tasting alcoholic beverage. It's hot. It tastes right? like nuts, tastes like peanuts, and then it gets really hot. It makes your whole heart just expand with love. I can't say that I, I like it. I don't dislike it. But I don't hate it. We are drinking tequila. We are drinking tequila. We are drinking tequila. Yo, we're drinking tequila. Yeah, we're here in Mexico. Hey, 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 hey. Ow. We've 
we've taken a total of three shots so far. Oh my god, that's not a lot! <laughs> Number three was more than five. What? I'm, I'm not drunk, all right? I just have a speech impediment. Guys, we've been upset that we don't have salt to take our shots of tequila with, and oh. then we realized we have a pink Himalayan salt lamp, and this is salty as shit, so you can just take a lick of the salt lamp. Can you? Take your tequila and have some lime. We are from the yeah. same place. Aww. We're from the same place. Where are you from? Place. Introduce yourself. What's your name? Where are you from? My name is Pema. That means lotus flower in Tibetan. I was <laughs> born in Nepal and I'm of Tibetan heritage. I moved to the States when I was five years old and now I'm here with these guys. The end. <laughs> So we don't have any salt, but we have a salt lamp straight from the Himalayas. And how you're supposed to take a tequila shot is you take a little salt, take a little tequila, take a little lime. But instead of taking the salt, we're just gonna lick this salt lamp together. A little bit of tenderness. Three, two, one. Woo! Oh shoot, I broke the salt lamp. Guys, this vlog is, uh, is a mess already. <laughs> All right, guys, we're about to get out of here. We're gonna go hit the streets of Tijuana. No, no. Listen, it's all been leading up to this. We traveled across the desert of the Navajo Nation. We got Keep it. Now we're here in Tijuana, but unfortunately, it's Tuesday, which is cool because it's Taco Tuesday. But apparently, not that much is going out around tonight. So I don't think I'm not anticipating there being a large, lively crowd, but. We are a lively crowd, just in ourselves. So, we're gonna have a good time regardless. Let's go explore. Ladies and gentlemen, don't drink tequila. It's not, it's crazy. Okay, well we made it out to the town. How are you guys feeling? I want some soup and I wanna go to bed. We're gonna go get some food soup. and gonna go to bed. bed. We went to a bar, there was people dancing, it was a good time, but like I said earlier, it's Tuesday night. So Give me food and bed. <laughs> there's really no one around here. It's a pretty dead city right now. It's a Tuesday, but we're still having fun. What are they doing? Are you high oh, oh shit, you just kicked him in the face. <laughs> Kicked him in the face. Hold on, my nose is bleeding. Hold on. That was really cool. Did I get that on video? I think I got that on video. His nose is bleeding because she just kicked him in the face. I did not. That was so cool. I, did not. I just witnessed that. Hey, it's me. <laughs> Call me Nosebleed McGee. You just kicked him in the face. No, I didn't. <laughs> I just got kicked in the face by a stranger. It was, it was actually kind of cool. I'm not a stranger. Here. My name is Pema. I got fucking I'm punched in the face. I don't want. I want a fucking refund. I'm what? bleeding now. I've never been fucking punched in the face. <laughs> She's crawling on the ground over here. Pamela, what'd you do to me? I'm sorry. Why did you punch me in the face? Because you were being a dick. What did I do? Oh, don't pull it out. Oh, you're bleeding. You're bleeding. Oh, boy, that's a lot you're of bleeding, blood. bleeding, bitch. Why'd you punch me in the face? <laughs> we family now. We <laughs> family. Now none of the hookers are going to want me. <laughs> I'm just going to be the guy who got punched in the face. Let's get ready to rumble. <laughs> Everyone, take your pants off. Oh, I don't want any underwear. <laughs> I'm not wearing any underwear. I'm the only one with my pants off. Now. Give me my vlog back. All right, guys, we are back in our Airbnb tonight. Ta, there's no pants on. And uh, I'm gonna leave you the link in the description if you're interested in staying in this Airbnb. The owner of this place also has a bunch of other really beautiful Airbnbs around this area, so there's plenty of places for you to stay. But at the beginning of this video, I mentioned that we were gonna break things, and he has achieved that goal. The lotion on the skin. All right, guys, on a serious note, we came to Tijuana, and people were warning me about their perceptions of how dangerous this area was. And what do you guys think about that? I think it's. Bullshit. She said it right there. <laughs> Took it right out of the horse's house. We actually accidentally went. <laughs> I'm a horse and I go. 
<laughs> okay, back to what we were saying. <laughs> this is our last night in Tijuana, and we, we spent two days here, and people were so incredibly friendly. A lot of people speak English because we're right near the California border, so it's very easy to travel here and just be a tourist because it's, it's, it's a very touristy area. A lot of people come here to visit. But it's beautiful. We had a great time and everyone was very welcoming. I never felt in harm's way. And we, we did go out, but it wasn't a weekend, so it was, it was kind of dead, like I keep repeating. But we still had fun. And I hope you had fun exploring with us. Tomorrow, we're going back to California. We're going to San Diego just to pick up some stuff. And then, do you have tequila? Yeah, I do. <laughs> do you want some tequila? Not yet, hold on. You look like there's somebody puked broccoli on your face a little bit. <laughs> I like broccoli. Oh wow, this is uncomfortable. I'm not gonna look anywhere. <laughs> so tomorrow, we're going our separate ways. She's gonna go hang out with her family. But she does also have a YouTube channel. If you want to follow Pema, she's starting to build it up. So go follow her. Go give her some support. I'll link both of their YouTube channels in the description. So go ahead and do that. And yeah, make sure to check out Tal's vlogs of this. He's been making so many really cool vlogs. We've been hooking them all make night sure long. To make sure to hook them, guys. <laughs> We've developed so many inside jokes throughout this trip. It's been incredible. Our time is also almost coming together, coming to an end. We're going to LA together. and We're gonna make maybe a couple more videos. If you want to stay updated, make sure to click that bell next to the subscribe button. If you enjoyed this video, give it a big thumbs up. Go ahead and click that like button, and we'll see you tomorrow in the next vlog. And here it is. Cheers. Cheers. Salud. 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 Oh, caramba. Ah, oh, good night. This one's gonna be a little bit different because unfortunately we have come to the end of our great American road trip. <laughs> <laughs>